Hello everyone, I have a new video on AI to show you. I've already showed you this program once, it's about creating images. In fact, you can look that up and you can see uh, the different things you can like create for PowerPoint. But I didn't realize that I didn't um, really show off all that you can do with this free version. There's a lot of things you can do in this that um, you'd have to use Adobe and some other pay programs to do. There's a lot of free things, very powerful things you can do in clip drop stability i'm going to minimize my picture here put that down in the corner okay so you can see this screen stable diffusion again it's uh, clip drop.co uh, forward slash stable diffusion i'll put the link down in the description but anyway one of the things you can do is you can like like i said you can generate images uh, for your powerpoints and things like that you click on these three little things here and um, you can change what you want. No style, anime. I have it on photographic right now, but you have all these different selections of different things you can select. Aspect ratio, you can make it square, cinematic, widescreen. For, you would want it widescreen for if you were making uh, stuff for PowerPoint. But just for the purpose of showing you what you can do with this, I'm going to... Um, use the square 101 and i'll show you why in just a minute and a negative prompt is if you want to give it information of stuff that you don't want it to have so i don't want it to have uh, birds i don't want it to have this you can do that that's where you can put that up all right let me generate this and it's always going to pop this up unless you're paying for it it just takes a little longer if you have a little bit of patience depending on how many people on there you know you might have to wait a little bit longer but in general i mean it's not going to take but a minute or two at the most. So here are the images that it generated. And also with the free version, you also have this clip drop down here at the bottom. But so I can say I have Jesus walking on the water, having come from the front. This one, that one. And let's just go with, let's just go with this one. I'm going to download that one. And I'll show you why. Now, this one doesn't remember what you're doing, so you need to save whatever ones that you're going to keep and, and go ahead and have them saved. So when I go back, they disappear. But when you scroll down, it gives you these different examples of different photos you can make. But one of the things that it has, it has all these different tools. And I'm not going to show you an example of every one of these tools, but I am curious to how well it does. I've never even done this yet. I, I, I use this in Adobe, and it works great in there. But you have the uncrop. If you wanted to make something wide, you got an image and it's narrow and you want to be able to make it bigger so it fills up your PowerPoint better, well, this will fill in the stuff that's around it. So let's try that. Okay, it's going to have me uh, drop a file in here. and uh, Or you can just click on it and open up a folder, my download folder. This was the file that I just did. Okay. So now you see it's narrow. Let's say I want to make it wide. So now I just take and uh, let's see here. Can I? There we go. Oh, okay. That's not exactly what I was wanting. Okay, let's see here. Um, custom. Well, let's see what happens. I don't. Oh, that's my size, right? Okay, that's how wide I want. Okay, I was trying to manipulate the image and things like that. You can make it bigger, drag drag the picture out bigger, and then it'll go ahead and it's going to try to fill in these spaces on both sides here. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Next, and it'll fill these in. And again, you get four samples, so you can choose which one you like the best. So we have this one, this one, I kind of like that one it didn't have the sun in it as well. So I would probably, I was, this is what I would choose. I would choose this one. All right. So that's just showing you that you can extend out and you can set it how you want to make it wider. So that way this would fit better into a PowerPoint slide. All right. Now let's go back. Uh, let's go back one more. The main page. All tools. All right. I'm not going to do an example of this. It shows you right here, as you can see it on the screen. You can put an image in there and it will re-image it to 
make it different colors and things like that. So you might have a reason for that. You might not like the color or something, or you want to see what it looks like, you can do that. I've never messed with this before, but let's just try it. This is a doodle where you just kind of do your own doodle on here and it'll make it into something. So let me try that. Here, let me go, let me make a, see, make a eye here. I'm drawing my mouse, so it's gonna look horrible. Oops. I need to erase that. That's horrible. Supposed to be an eye. There we go. It would help if you have a, uh, a drawing pad or something for this. There's an eye, we'll put this over top of it like that. Side of it like that. That's gonna look horrible. Okay, let me close his face. Three little hairs up here like that. And let's see what kind of magic it comes up with. Oh, got inner prompt. Okay, so it's going to be helped with the information I give it. Okay, how about a cartoon male? All right, generate. And you're going to have this pop up every single time. <laughs> okay. Well, that looks way better than what I doodled, but there you go. That's what it looks like. You can see all four of those. And if you have something that you're better at doodling, it'll be able to create that and give you some options on that. And there could be some things you might want to throw together real quick to put on your PowerPoint to illustrate something. All right. Let's go back. And this, I'll show you, this has even more tools on it. And again, I'm, just to time, save time, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can do cleanup. And what that does is it allows you to select items. And within a picture, as you can see, it's doing there, showing you selecting the pencil. And then it will automatically get rid of those. And then it'll try to fill in the space around it to make it clean. And same thing with background. You know, sometimes you have a background around a person or something like that, and you want to remove it so that you can put it into something else, um, whatever it may be. So you can use it to do that. And then it even has the feature where you can upload your photo and you can change the lighting. So you can put the lighting on one side or the other. As you can see, it's being displayed here. And this is a handy one, especially if you have a photo that's not very clear. Sometimes on your own PowerPoint and you're trying to show it and you find a photo, but it's really small. And if you try to make it bigger, you know, it gets all messed up. And it's not gonna make it perfect, but you can take and add it into, into this and upscale it. And it'll allow you to upscale it multiple times. Um, you can just try it twice or however big you wanna make it. And you'll be able to see the difference. It'll even show you this little slide bar whenever you, you do this. I have used this already. And it's very handy it smooths things out it makes the picture look better and it and definitely will make it at least look like it does when it's small when it's bigger so you can try that out and then this one over here is another feature it has is replace the background again this is kind of similar to the remove background but this takes it a step further it removes the background and then you're going to be able to prompt it and tell it what you want in the background so that can be very helpful well as well and then you can do text remover and I tell you what, I want to try this. I don't know how well this will do. I told you the free version, it puts that little stamp up there that it's made by this uh, clip drop. But let's try adding that file in there that it created. Remember it had the little text on it down here at the bottom. And look at that. With its own program. You see it's, it's gone now. It's removed it. So if you don't want that on there, you can just slap it in there, or if there's any other type of image that has text on it, maybe someone has made a meme and you like the photo, you can use it and it will automatically try to take out the, the text that is over it. Now, this was a lot easier for it, but you can see it's nice and smooth. Sometimes it might have different results, but 
anyway, that's what you can do with Clip Drop. It's a very powerful, free, absolutely free. You don't even have any limits. You can make it go faster if you pay for it so that you can speed things up. But you can do a lot of great things with this tool that is available to everyone. You can use it to make better images for your PowerPoints and things like that. And you can see what it comes up with. And you can keep generating. You don't have to just do those four. You can continue to, to have that. So I hope that you find the, these videos helpful. And I hope that you will be able to use these tools because they're free and they work really good. and I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't use them if you that is if you want to make things better and you can use it on whatever you want that have to be on PowerPoint slides and things like that, because you there's all kinds of different ratios you can use all kinds of different things you can use this for. Uh, maybe it's a flyer or maybe it's whatever a school project. All of these things can be used with the powerful clip drop by stability. So give it a try and and see how how you how you think it works for you.